How may I help you? I'm from Uche and Associates. This is a court ejection notice. I've come to take possession of this property. What is all this rubbish, my friend? What is it? You think you can just walk into my house, barge on my door, do whatever you like, and then you throw me out of my house without adequate notice? My friend, I'm not barging in. I've been instructed to take possession of felony today. You must be joking. I take this in and go back to where you're coming from. Pack out now. I'm taking possession. Friend, take this stuff from my hand and get out of my house. I want to pack out now. Take this stuff from my hand, my friend. Are you Mr. Edward Okeke? Okay, okay. Yes. From the police. Aha. Uh -huh. Officer, thank you very much for coming. Look at this man. He walks in here and just wants to eject me out of my house without adequate notice. Is that proper? Is that in the constitution, please? We have a warrant to arrest you for fraud. Sorry? There was a complaint from your company. We're taking you to the station now. Get in. Wait, 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 you don't want to cooperate, Abi? Officer, I swear to God, I don't know anything about this, believe me. We shall see about that. By the time I'm through with you, I shall confess like a parrot. Someone? Yes, I'm looking for the man who lives here. Oh, the man who lives here? He has moved out. Moved out to where? Actually, this house was bought by a new person. He was ejected early today. Ejected? Are you serious? I mean... Okay, well, do, do you by any chance know his um, forwarding address? I don't know. As you can see, I'm the estate agent in charge of this property. Checking the inventory. So confusing. Um, okay. All right then. Thank you. Is it really what the stress, the pain? Well, for your information, Kate is already married. She is not married, Samuel. Whatever it is, she is doing it out of her will. Edward, are you so much in love with Kate? that you're prepared to go through all this hell? Well, I know I said I didn't want to have anything to do with you any longer. But I just thought about the good old days. And I have decided to make it up to you. Go away, Samuel. I do not wish to have anything to do with you. Don't be stupid, Edward. Don't be such a fool. My father could be so mean and deadly, especially when it concerns my cute sister Kate. Well, maybe I should lay my cards on the table. One, 
you could regain your house. Two, you'll be recalled to the office. And three, this entire case will be dropped. And finally, the icing on the cake. Two million naira. Two million bucks, my good friend, to sort yourself out. Take a chance, Edward. Take a chance and forget all about Kate. something I must tell you. Okay, I'm listening. Eddie, you're scaring me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, perhaps we should um, part ways? Part ways? What do you mean? Kate, this, this thing, this thing can't work. They said you have a childhood be throttled. That's not true. It's n I don't have feelings for the guy. I, I barely even know the guy. That's what your parents want. <laughs> They're what my parents want. Kate, you can't talk like that. Besides, I, I, I can't continue in this... And this intimidation, this, this stress, Kate. So, um, you are walking out of my life, just like that? Is that it? No, 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 no. No, well... All I'm saying is that I think that that's that that's just the best thing for the both of us. That's bullshit. Did you know it? Kate, it's the only realistic thing to do. But I understand this. Deep down within me, you will always have a place in my heart. And that's the truth. But we have to part ways, Kate. So this is how you want it? No, Kate. That's how it has to be. No, it's bullshit. That's how you want it. Kate, please. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay, Eddie. Kate, 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 
sorry. I had to do it. I had to do it. Right before my eyes, my dreams came crashing all for you because of you. I feel hurt inside because I know that wherever you are, you'd feel my pain. We had something beautiful, no one can take away. I hope you're enjoying your food. Samuel, I do not wish to be disturbed. Thinking about Edward, ain't you? Please, leave me alone. Please. <laughs> Edward is not worth the trouble after all. He is such a cheap bastard. Look, I'll leave this dining for you. I'll leave this place for you. I have paid him off with two million naira cash. <laughs> mm -hmm. Once a gold digger, always a gold digger. <laughs> Love a girl.
this time. I brought back your dirty money. You and your father can't buy my love. for long. Kate? Eddie, is it true that you were paid off? Is it true you were paid off? Oh, it's true then. Kate, I can explain. Was the love you had for me that cheap? Was two million naira all my love was worth to you? No, Kate, please. Please don't talk like that. God, you were a gold digger after all. Kate. You bloody scumbag. Kate, please. seen a very beautiful flower in your garden and um, we have come to pluck this beautiful flower. By the book, is that not so? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Thank you very much. Um, it is not surprising that of all the guardians in this city, it is this our Izu family that you have seen this beautiful flower. <laughs> Chief Uduma and our family have always been good friends. So you are welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I greet you all. Yeah, we greet you. The flower which my brother has just been talking about we all know that it is very, very beautiful. Yes. Not so. Yes. Yes. Therefore, Chief, with due respect, sir, we shall like to see the beautiful flower with our own eyes. That's correct. You were talking about the time. Do you remember when we were together as students? There was an occasion that we attended in the company of uh, Macfarlane. Was that the Kenyan wedding? It was a wonderful ceremony. Yes. Oh. Yeah.
Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, my honorable friend, Tifizu. Good man. Akede. Good I greet you again. Madam, I thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. You know why I'm thanking them? If they did not open the, the gate, so their garden, we wouldn't have been able to see a beautiful flower. Yes. yes. A lot of people would be peeping through the well, through the fence. And sometimes some dogs will be barking at them. They won't get the chance that we have got. And people say that from little acorns, big oaks emerge. Exactly. I, Honorable Chief Uduma, have watched this is our beautiful young flower grow and blossom into this beautiful young woman. Yes, we thank you for allowing us into your home. We are assuring you that uh, the Uduma family has the ability to take care of your daughter. Yes, I, I, I tell you that, yes, yes, whatever money can buy, in this world, we are capable of providing that for your daughter. <laughs> yes, we are capable. We know that we are, and of course, you all know who we are. Yes, yes. I thank you very much. Thank you. My dear good friend, for so many years, I greet you again. That's a reliable friend, a very reliable friend. I greet all of you. When Uduma got up to speak, I knew what he was going to say, exactly what he had just said. Both of us come a long way. We grew up together. My family is his family. His family is my family. In all our relationship, we have always wanted for an opportunity like this that will serve as a big cement for that relationship. So it becomes everlasting, becomes enduring. That's precisely why we are gathered here today. This occasion cements that relationship. I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that his family is capable of taking care of all the interests of my daughter here. <laughs> Thank you. So, let us drink to the success of this relationship. Thank you, my good friend. Uruma! Ikeji Ajamba. Akeka. Okanga. Odogumu Oke. Ono Nehi.
Look, I know you still feel a little homesick, but that's okay. You get away with time, you know. There's nothing that you can get at home that I cannot provide for you and more. Let me assure you that I can make you and I will make you the happiest woman in the world. Just a matter of time, okay? Look, um, let me tell you a little about myself and my achievements. <clears throat> you see? Kate, look, Kate, don't walk out on me, okay? Come on, I'm your husband and you're my wife. There's nothing you can do about that. Ah, whatever. I'll be here waiting for you. We've got the whole house to ourselves, you know? Ah. to deserve this. Kate, how are you? What do you care? What do you... How could you abandon your own daughter? I mean, dump me in this house where I'm being treated like a slave. Kate, marriage is not always easy at the initial stage. But I know you will adjust. <laughs> Has it ever occurred to you that I could hate you for this? Has it? Look, I know in future, you will thank me and you will love me. Because we are, I know you are in a very good hand. You have ruined me. You and Daddy have destroyed my life. You've made each and every day of my life miserable. And God knows how hard it will be to forgive you if you do not get me out of here. Honey, you're still a child. But I know you will grow up soon in that marriage. Okay? My regards to your husband. Bye. I love you. Mommy. I come home from work and the table is empty. What's wrong with you? Can't you make dinner? I am not your maid. You are my wife. You had better start acting like one. If you do not like the way you act, why don't you let me go? Now you listen to me, Kate. 
I did not marry you to get insulted by you. I was of the impression that my family was doing your family a big favor. So you had better wake up. To hell with you and your face. Shut up! Look, you must understand that I am your husband and you must obey me. Shit! Stop it! Stop it! What's wrong with you? Are you going out of your mind? Are you crazy? No! Are you crazy? talking to you, Kate. I told you I was expecting clients from Abuja and you were supposed to get the house prepared and lay out the table. But you decided to embarrass me in front of my friends, in front of my clients. In my own house, you made me look stupid. Depriving me, depriving yourself. Like you're only doing yourself more harm than good. Why shouldn't I touch you? You're my wife, for Christ's sake. I am not your wife. Do you understand? We are not married. We paid the bride price. That makes you my wife. I am not your wife. You, you are understand? my wife. I am not. You, you are, are my, my wife. wife. 
Come here, Kate. Come here. I've got to stop now. What is that? No. What the hell? Shut up. What is wrong with you? If you don't know your duty and responsibility to your husband, I'll teach you. Take that. someone else's wife. Eddie, I need to see you. I can't, Kate. I'm sorry. I beg of you, please stay with your husband. It's better for the both of us. Do you understand? He's not my husband, okay? He was never going to be my husband. I need to see you. Please. I'm sorry, Kate. I can't. Okay? In that case, you leave me no choice. As I speak with you, I'm on third mainland bridge and the next time you'll be seeing me will be at my funeral because I swear I will jump if you don't come. I will jump. No, 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 Kate. Kate, don't do that. Kate, listen to me. <laughs> Kate! Kate! Hello? Hello?
Sorry? Madam, you don't go. What do you mean don't go? You say no will come back again. When? You never say, no, 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 you don't say I'm for road. Shit. Shit. Hello, Chief. Hello, Chief. Yes, is Kate at home there? Oh, she, then she's gone. She's absconded. What? That my daughter did what? Uh, okay, just wait, wait. Just come over to the house. Come to the house. I'll be waiting. Thank you. All right. Open it again. Okay. Don't do it, I beg you, please. You're too close to that bridge. That's that's very risky. I thought you didn't care. I thought you'd never come. But you know I care. You know I care very much, Kate. You know I do. Then why did you leave me by myself? Without proof? I had no choice. Your father and your brother pressurized me. I had no damn choice. Kate, please don't do it. And you know I love you. Please don't do it. If you love me, then take me with you. I can't do that. I have to take you home. Would I rather jump than... No, 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 no. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, then. All right, all right. Um, um, let's go over to my place, okay? Let's go over to my place, then we can talk this over. Come on, give me your hands. Come on. Okay, please. Let's go over to my place, all right? I don't know what's gotten into her, but ever since the day that I officially took her home, she's been so unfriendly, she's been so unreasonable. 
Now this afternoon I get home and she left me a message saying she was never going to come back to the house. Wait a minute. Are you sure of what you're telling me? Yeah, she just moved. She just packed all her things and left the house. What is happening here? Your daughter has absconded from her marital home. Ask him. Richard, what happened? Was there a fight or something? Jesse, I don't know. Dad, what did you just tell me on the phone? Kate has left the house by this house. What? Are we any other way? She might be. Did she fool you? No, 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 no. Oh Dad, I think I have an idea where she might be. Where? Edward's place. Edward? Who's Edward? Uh, uh, Richard, it's a long story, but I'll tell you in due course. Samuel. Dad? Get the car. We're going to Edward's place. Zion. Sir. Have you got your gun? Yes, sir. Go on. What? We'll sort this thing out once and for all. I'll come with you. No, no, you're not coming with me. This is for men only. Sit down and mind the house. Let's go. Please be careful. Hey, God. It's a long story, bro. Who wants to kill me? What kind of trouble is this? Let's go. Oh, God. Hey, you kill me. No, I think it's time we face them once and for all. No, 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 we to have to once go. We all. have to go. Come go on, where? Please. Calm down. No. You can't run forever, man. How long would you keep running? Listen, let me take you to your father and we'll sort things out. I don't want to go home. Let's go. 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 Let
I warned you against this young man, didn't I? Why did you have to leave your marital home to come and hang out with the stout? Why? Because I did not wish to be there in the first place. You forced me there, Daddy. My heart belongs here with Eddie. I love him. Shut up. You love him. Young man. Why can't you leave my daughter alone? Why? Why did you have to seduce her out of her marital home? Why? I did not seduce her out of her marital home. She left out of her own volition. We love each other. And I believe that we belong to each other. I see. You believe you belong to each other. You believe you belong to each other. That's why I got her out of her marital home. Daddy, no! No! Jesus! Kate! Kate! Leave her alone! So all this happened within this short period. Hmm? She was never mine from day one, Dad. And I thought things would eventually get better. But we had an understanding. Yes, an introduction. Don't forget it, Dad. There was never a wedding. I mean, a real wedding. You know, I thought Kate would come to respect me, you know, worship me because of our family name. And then, of course, the things, the favors that you did for her father. But she believed in love. So, what are you going to do now? I'm going to find my own girl, my own love, you know. Someone to love me. Just like Kate loves Edward. Mommy, you have to talk to Daddy. You have to. I'm, I can't go back to Richard. I can't. Kate, you have to. <laughs> that is the best thing for you. I know what's best for me, and it's definitely not Richard. I can't go back. I can't. Kate, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to us? Why are you doing this to me? Why? Why do you people want to destroy my life? Jesus, why? Is it for money? Is it the influence? Is that what it is? I won't be part of this, mommy. I can't. There's no way I'm going back to Richard. You have to talk to daddy. And if he sends me back, I swear I'll kill myself. I will kill myself. I'm not joking. No, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to Why are you doing this? You have to talk to daddy. Talk to him, okay? I don't want to go. Kate has brought shame to this family. Kate has destroyed the reputation it took me years to build. Why? Darling, don't you think it's about how we took a second look at this? A second look at what? The relationship between Kate and Richard. Are you implying I withdraw Kate from Richard's house? thereby risking the company of Richard and his father that you know is very important to me? Is that what you are implying? You must be out of your mind. Are you saying you value business connection more than your own daughter's happiness and life? What do you mean by that? Kate is desperate. She could do anything. 
Let's give her a chance. This might is not working out. I don't want to hear that again. Please. Kate is desperate. She could do anything. Don't let us do things we regret for the rest of our lives. Please, my husband. Please. All right. Give me a bottle of beer. My husband, please. Reconsider your stand, please. Please. It's all right, I'll give it a thought. Get me a bottle of beer. existed between us all these years. Now I withdraw my daughter from that relationship. What will I tell him? What will he think of me as a very treacherous person? I mean, how can I look at... Kate, what do I do with that thing? Jesus! Kate, what are you doing? Kate! No, no, no. Put this in the way, please. No. Kate, 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 don't harm yourself. Okay. No. Give that no. Please, please. I'm serious. Bring Eddie out. Bring Eddie out to me. If you don't, I will shoot myself. No. No. Get this gun from your daughter. You will not shoot yourself, please. I am begging you. Please. Give me this gun. <laughs> Got the gun, you got us all covered. We'll do exactly as you say. Yes. Yes. Samuel, get him out. So that it's all right. <laughs> As you can see, unfortunately, I'm not. It's not what I. I came here for an entirely different purpose altogether. It's about Kate. And what about Kate? It's not what I can stand here now and apologize to you for all that happened. But there's really no time for that. As we're talking now, Kate has a gun pointed to her head, threatening to kill herself if you don't follow me to the house to see her. What did you say? Kate is threatening to commit suicide if you don't follow me to the house to come and see her. Please, Edward, please. So what the hell are we waiting for? If you're ready, we can go. Kate, after all what I did to give you a sound education, Kate, after all what I did to give a definition to your life, 
You stand there and point a gun at me. Please, please, just let her be. Don't upset her any further. Don't shut up! What do you mean by that? You're asking me not to upset my own daughter. Who is she? I'm sorry, Daddy. I, I swear I didn't mean to do this. It's, it's just I don't think Eddie deserves to be treated the way you're treating him. I see. I deserve the humiliation you are giving to me, right? I deserve the indignity you are inflicting on me just for bringing you into this world, Kate. You have soiled the reputation of this family, Kate, and by God, you are going to pay for it, Kate. You brought him to this family, and you must regret it someday. Oh, yes, you will. What are you doing with your girl? I had to do it. They won't let you go. I had to. Okay, it's, it's alright. I'm okay now. Give me the gun, please. Kate, give him the gun. Give him the gun, Kate. 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 I beg you, please. Give me the gun. Shoot me first. Dad, please put the gun down. Please. please put it down. Please. Please drop this gun. I am begging you. Drop this gun. Don't do it. Do you mean to tell me, Kate, that you're willing to lay down your life for this riffraff? Daddy, can't you see? I love him. Why can't you accept him? Why?